your referee was forced to stop the contest. Your winner by way of TKO. You did everything you said you were going to do. How do you feel? I talk the talk. I walk the walk. Yeah! My name's Brian, but on YouTube, I'm known as the True Geordie. A few years ago, I stumbled into this industry, and now I'm about to commentate on the biggest event in YouTube history. Now, this wasn't part of the plan. I was a deep sea diver working offshore. One day, this footballer pissed us off, and I decided I was just gonna get on my camera, shout at him, make myself feel better, and then that'd be the end of it. You're a fucking disgrace, Nile Ranger. You are a fucking disgrace. I just remember saying, oh, right, that's, um." Some mad bloke kicking off on me on my Twitter timeline, and that's all it was at that time. When Brian first started, he was more—he was a Newcastle fan. He wasn't a YouTuber. I think that's something Brian's transitioned into. Is that like, well, obviously a full-time YouTuber. My nana used to always tell us, "You should either shut up or become a commentator." Wimbledon, FA Cups, boxing, you name it. I just loved to talk about what was happening. It's mad because I've kind of taken that advice. <laughs> So the first time I commentated on an event on YouTube was the Wembley Cup. I'd gone from an iPhone on an iron board, just me and my room on my own, to a room full of people, production companies. Along that way, I met a lad called Joe Weller. I definitely see a little bit of myself in him. Sometimes you meet people who you just have an understanding with. I think Brian sees a lot of him, his former self in Joe, after talking to him, and I see it myself too. I think. Brian maybe plays a role for Joe that I think he would have wanted at Joe's age. I want the best for him, do you know what I mean? Even if I've got to tell him some harsh truths. KSI was one of my favorite YouTubers back in the day. Like I really respected him and he makes me laugh. He's made a lot of people's careers. Like he gives out more jobs than Steve Jobs, this guy, like in this industry. If he's your friend, you've got a good chance of having a career. But I didn't like him for that reason. I just thought he was funny. And I badged at him on Twitter for a little while saying, come and do a podcast with us. Bear in mind, he has nothing to gain from me. And he took time out of his own day and gave me his time, his honesty. I thought we got on really well. We're, we're, we're sort of uncut, uncensored characters. While I haven't got the friendship with him that I do with Joe, I really like that about JJ, that don't give a fuck attitude. When I had both of these lads on the podcast, the first time they both spoke about each other, when they were still friends, Joe said he owed his career to JJ. Obviously, I was just a KSI fan. Mm -hmm. Nothing more uh, at this stage when I made that video. Mm -hmm. um, but so yeah, like when he liked it and like shared it to his subscribers and stuff, yeah. that honestly, mate, it's, it's as though I just scored a goal at Wembley or something like that. And JJ, on the other hand, said that Joe was the realest person on YouTube. I'd who... say Joe, though. Joe Weller is pretty much the same. Like He's, he's, a, he's an introspective guy, though. He is the yeah. most on the like the realest person yeah, I think because yeah, yeah. a few people were like oh Joe Weller and Jamie Carragher you know it's all an act I went no. he will fight him yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. there is actual beef there. People <laughs> and it's so interesting now that I'm about to interview them again how different they're going to talk about each other this time from a personal gains point of view I, I know that this is a great thing for me to be next to these two great YouTubers who I respect and, uh, and they're going to put on a show, which I am lucky enough to be part of, and I'm not the one getting punched in the face. Because there is no one in this community who could be Brian apart from him or play the role he does, it gives them this massive advantage. Yeah, the passion comes through, and that's fantastic. He stuck to his guns, and, and yeah, being an emotional person, the way he uses it for his work, it, it's fantastic. I'm getting to live my dream for one night. Like, this is what I'd love to do as a, as a job. And not only that, it's, we're breaking records. I think that YouTube in 20 years time is going to be the home of sport. And if you look back on the UFC, Joe Rogan was never a fucking UFC fighter, but he, people trust him because he's always been there. And I want that spot on YouTube. And that's what I want from this. Tell you what, Tom, I've seen some suits at night time, pal. 
Look at that. You reckon? Very nice. Decent, isn't it? Fucking smart, man. Tell you what. This is a fucking suit. Costs more than your house is, you know. Now he's from London, it's bullshit. <laughs> Hi right, everyone. Hi. Right. 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 Diving was actually pretty similar to what I do now in a way, because when I wasn't underwater, I was just following people around with my mobile phone, trying to wind them up. I actually made a video, quite a few, about diving just because I enjoyed making videos. You look back at it and you think, what the fuck was I doing making a video about diving? Why didn't I just make videos about all this stuff I like? So I think video making was always a, like the passion. And the loudest and checkiest and one of the greatest boxing commentators and interviewers here, joining us at ringside from the north of England. He's known as Geordie for a very good reason. Let's make that name one more time. Let's hear it for Geordie! This is his house here, isn't it? I think so, number three. Get off my property! Hey! hey. He's all wet! How are you, man? I'm all good. Aye? I'll take me like, This whole situation as a whole has been one of the great... Well, probably the thing that I needed at this point in my life. Like, I absolutely mean it because I was going a bit like... When I say off the rails, I mean like not knowing where I was going, not knowing what I wanted. And with this, with that like regimented lifestyle of getting up, having to face whatever challenge it is that day and having to, because if not, I'm going to lose. It's been the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. Is there anyone who stands out who you've watched more than anyone else and you yeah. think, oh, that guy, uh, he's one person I really admire and I've taken a lot from him? Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson? Yeah, no, yeah. for real. Purely because... He go to the ring, no bullshit, get the job done, and then he picks up his opponent and says like, "Good match, goes home." Like, as in, it's no bullshit. It's doing what he needs to do, and and winning. I have felt the lowest I've ever felt in my life during this experience, and overcoming that, that is what that is where I'm getting my confidence from. After sitting down and talking to him, the worries went away because the obsessive lad that I know is determined not to fail was there, clear as fucking day. I'm more concerned that he's just not gonna protect himself and after the day, I just think he will. If he's beaten, it'll be because JJ's being very, very good. Sometimes when you watch uh, fighters in a preparation for a fight, they do interviews and they do uh, speeches and press conferences where they try and convince everyone else that they're, um, they're ready and really the only person they're struggling to convince is themselves. And Joe today, I don't think he was trying to convince anyone. I just think he believes it. I just don't want him to go in there and be unhappy with how he performs. And I think he, I think he's done the work by the looks of it. From Eastbourne, please welcome Joe Owen. There's Joe. This man has built. Up I to fucking this love this kid. Sorry. There's tingles going down my spine right now. This place is, everyone has their eyes fixed on the corner with Joe. Credit everyone involved here for YouTube. This is Are you ready? Are you ready? Joe knows how to work a crowd with music. Are you ready? This guy's done DJing, he's done his own tracks before. This is going to be a mega mix of Joe Willett classics. Joe looks very calm, very calm right now, composed. It's fair to say that some of these guys might be suffering from sleepless nights after this. Joe Willett walks right by us, he looks in peak physical condition. As a deep sea diver in the early 20s, earning very good money, but nothing like the money that JJ and Joe earn, I handled it worse without fame than they handled it with fame. Normally you do like a two, three hour dive. I'm coming up for half hour breaks just to throw up. Do you know what I mean? I was a, I was a mess. Like Joe and JJ are fit young lads looking after themselves. I was an absolute ruin. And to be honest, if I'd had like 
the life that they have at that age there would have been videos of me doing all sorts of shit like they've held it together these lads genuinely i don't know how they've done it yeah bro woohoo yeah it's official yeah guy. that's how it's done boy <laughs> you tell your mama you saw a real time of the day boy <laughs> <laughs> Give me five, man. Five, five boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's done. Yeah. There was times where you do like three, four hour dives, quite shallow, on like piers where you have to um, blast concrete off of piles, refurbishing them. And like when you're blasting concrete off, you're using a high pressure water jet that is literally going so hard that it's cutting through concrete and you're tied off above this pile. So you're hanging down and you're blasting all this concrete off. But if you you get your leg in the way, you'll, you'll lose your fucking leg. And you've got three hours of that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Try not to lose a limb. So by the time I got to that and it's like inspection and manual labor, it's pretty easy because I'd already done the hard work. I can feel it. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? That's a different thing. I'm on my way into the side man house and I haven't seen their house but everything I have seen fucking mansions um, I'm from a little council estate in Newcastle where you know I remember someone burnt me shed down once do you know what I mean like people used to ask Aww. to borrow bags of sugar where I'm from not this isn't the type of place where someone knocks on you borrowing anything everyone's got their own shit it's just it's just mental I guess I've, I know what the, like, I've been through the worst, if that makes sense. So for me to fight Joe, it's like easy. I took the most big, like the biggest shot I've ever taken in my life. Mm -hmm. And I still stood, I didn't drop at one point. Mm -hmm. And like, at that moment I was like, okay, I can take this. I'm a fighter. Joe did say in his, in his interview with us, cause I'm sure yeah. you'll watch it. Um, yeah. His inspiration is Mike Tyson. Yeah, so there that, we go. That sort of. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Oh my gosh! So uh, that's the thing. That like, lends to what you're sort of suggesting. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've trained for this. Right. I've literally trained four or five months for this. We knew what he was going to do. Like, if he wanted to box me, he was going to lose. So he had to come at me like Mike Tyson, and then we just train to make sure when he does, he just gets slapped off. <laughs> just, I didn't know. I'm, I'm the one who's gonna have to be going, and he's done. <laughs> well, I mean, no. no, no, I mean like. To be honest, after, after be speaking fight. to you now, I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a bit more like. Well, I mean, there's a, that's what, what I mean, like there's a reason why I've just been so confident. Using that reach, bro, mm -hmm. using that reach. Just being smart with it, and every time he comes in, just, combinations and then I'm out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight him. I'm not gonna do all of yeah. this shit. Nah, no, fuck that. No. <laughs> I don't have time for that. I, I gotta make sure this is... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta make sure this is still in play. Yeah, bro. Uh, mate, I'm really looking forward to it and I hope uh, he's doing yeah. proud of the pair of Please like, welcome from Watford, the Nightmare KSI! He's drinking it in. Leave it all on the one that's still in the fire. Leave it all looking at my jeans to go higher. I am the whole shoe. Every word to his song. Wow, that is the gown that you'd expect from him, though, isn't it? No eye contact from Joe Weller. Joe turns his back on JJ. So this was 
one of the main football pitches I grew up on. The Nile Ranger rant has some connection to this because one of my mates who I used to play football with, George, died not long before Nile Ranger came out and said the fans need to stop booing the team and all that rubbish. Um, and when I went to George's funeral, it was all about Newcastle and how much he loved football. And football was everything to George. And this is where I used to play football with George. And I wasn't like best friends with him or anything like that, but I just liked the lad a lot. Do you know what I mean? I always had like respect for him and that, and, and I always got on well with him. And this is where we'd always play football. Oh fuck me, it is busy, isn't it? Well, they're suspecting a bunch of Oh, yeah, you put it, that's on the back. Oh, it's on the back? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Joe. Hi. How's it going? How are you, man? You good? I'm already proud of you, and I'm, uh, I'll probably not be able to speak to you that much before the match, so just, I know you'll do yourself proud, alright? We'll do it, mate. Rooting for you. Nice one, bro. Alright. Good stuff. See you soon, mate. I'll see, see you out there. Bro. Catch you in a bit. Take it easy. Yeah, nice meeting you, guys. Fucking emotional, that, you know? Like, I, actually, like, I felt like saying, like, do you know what I mean? When you really care about someone, I was like, fuck me. Just wanted to be out right. <laughs> I want to do a face off like, with you two, but obviously yeah. not like last time. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, we'll do a face off. Right. That'll be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think it'll make for amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Of course, of course. Yeah, I said I'd be up for it. Yeah. Sets the, the whole thing up. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I love fighting, I love YouTube, so this is just my friend. This is, yeah, yeah. You're just I'm in, in like your element. element. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally right there. So. Oh, mate, just call me Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one, two, one, two. Is it low? What's going on? Yeah, I like the beach. It's good. I mean, to be honest, I've been coming to the beach for years. When I come to the beach, the one thing that makes me think of is my cousin, who um, passed away, because he, he was a fucking daredevil. He was a surfer, skateboarder, snowboarder, rollerblade, like everything you can do that's mad shit he was into. And uh, he, was, he, he lived right on the beach, always used to be uh, surfing. And um, it just makes us think of him. I think I remember talking to him about YouTube before he died, actually. He knew who, like, KSI was. So I think he'd be like, fuck me, you're now up with them, doing shit with, with the lads who were the main guys before he passed away. He wasn't emotional at all. He did say, I'm not even bothered about this, I'm just getting this done. This isn't, a, this isn't even, I'm not even here, I just want to be at the fight tomorrow. I don't know, he's really treating us like a fighter. Some fighters are different though. Some fighters just don't want to do the press conference, they just want to do the fight, and then some fighters revel in the attention. It's a morning. As soon as I get in that ring, Joe, it's over for you, man. I'm into this fight with 100% confidence. I've done everything I need to do inside my team to prepare for what we need to do. Jordi, Jordi, I like, you know in the podcast, you were like, to Joe, it, it seems like you've become, you've turned from a boy into a man. I like that. So, you know what? I can't wait to beat the shit out of you and beat the man. I see you 
I see hella veins in the side of his head. This is sort of where I used to knock around when I was a kid. Just kicking a ball around the streets and that. Um, I remember once uh, <laughs> there was a kid who was two years older than me who decided he wanted to pick a fight with us. And um, I went, all right, we'll have it out then. Let's, well, let, let's go. And I had like, I knew some bigger kids who were like much older. I was eight, he was 10. And like, there was like a couple of 16 year olds who said it was like, if it gets out of hand, we'll break it up, don't worry. So I was like, all right, well, if it gets too far, I'm go for it. We start fighting instantly. I just drop him and I get on top. Didn't know MMA at the time, but as it happens, ground and pound was inflicted. And he started going to us and he was like, I submit, I submit. I'm just like, no, you fucking don't just hammer a number. And then at the end, the 16 year olds, they hoist us on their shoulders and they were like, he's done it. He's the champion of the world. And I'm like, <laughs> around the streets don't fuck with me again you little bastard but um i just have some mad memories it was like it, it was wild Very much what I expected. Uh, JJ really going in for it. I thought Joe handled it a lot better than last time. I thought it was all fair. I think they're about to hit each other in the face. Everything at this point's game. For the record, I thought you handled that really well. At the end of the day, there yeah, I was never gonna do anything. Yeah. I knew he was gonna come with all that shit, all that all this shit. At the end of the day, like this is just merely an obligation. Tomorrow's where it matters. No, you know I'll mean? see you tomorrow, Paul. I'm assuming. You know what I mean? Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow and uh, maybe a drink afterwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was fucking intense, that was. <laughs> Jesus, you could have cut that with a spoon. I was like, fuck me. It's gonna be good, bro. It's gonna be good. Trust. I respect that. Like, that was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna get a lot of people talking. Do you know what it is, mate? This is gonna help more people watch it than fucking Joshua Fitch for this. Honestly. Seriously? Oh, not even. Like well, especially yeah. after that press conference. Because yeah. they're going to be like, when Joshua Kutch goes one and a half million, this is going to be like 20 This is going to be crazy. This is the biggest amateur fight of all time. Probably. Yeah. Like in World of Joe didn't say a word, but he maintained eye contact the entire time. JJ, non stop talking, obviously. I was so intent on stepping in if someone hit each other that I, I was literally, it was weird because the crowd was so loud. I'm looking at JJ's lips moving and I can't hear a word he's saying. Like I, lit I was so concerned about it kicking off that I was like just monitoring everything words didn't matter in my head at the time. And I was like, what's he saying? And, and I guess as a mate to Joe, I probably, I probably wanted to end it a little bit sooner than what I, some other people might have done. We don't get taken seriously. The problem is, is because YouTube is such a variety of talent, there are people who are just doing it how I started with an iPhone on an ironing board. And there's people who never stop doing it that way. Whereas there's people like me who want to make it better and improve and improve. But for every one person who's like us, there is a hundred who are just putting out anything. Do you know what I mean? So I think when people say YouTube, they think of the majority and not what I consider to be the people who are trying to push it. Spencer Owen said on one video, YouTube's strength is also its greatest weakness. Anyone can make a YouTube video. And because of that, you're gonna get talent who are unearthed who would never have been given any chance in TV. And you're also gonna get a lot of people who 
damage the reputation. This event I'm about to commentate on it will be the biggest sporting event YouTube's ever seen in my opinion. I think it's going to blow anything away previously. I can't believe how close we're going to be commentating mate. We'll literally be having blood hit us in the face if our kicks off. Do you know what I mean? If it gets serious, there'll be spit, teeth, we'll be getting hit with it all. If you lose, and you lose badly, yeah you'll have a bruised ego, but it's not the end of the fucking world. You're still a, a young multi-millionaire, you know what I mean? Not, it, everything's gonna be alright, you're still gonna wake up the next morning and get in your flash car and, and have everything you had the day before. Everyone who loved you the day before is still gonna love you the day after. And I think that's the, that's the thing that would be in my head if I'm them right now. Can we get a little word from Stephen Trice here? You can. Uh, JJ is going to biff everyone, especially Joe Weller. Wow. Big stoppage. Big how, many, how many of those have you had? What is that? This is the second. Probably it's, my last, Brian. It's your second lemonade. And probably my last. I heard you, on a, heard you before on the stream. You're both doing fantastically. Wow. He's definitely drunk. Yeah. This is the most 50-50 fight I've ever seen. I don't know. I'm friends with both. Mad. What are you saying? What are you saying, Sammy? Simon? Mini Minta. I'm not going to lie. I feel sick. Yeah. I you are, so, you are so close to JJ. I feel so sick. You, he could I'm get hurt in this fight. How are you feeling about that? Well, you're making it worse. Well, I've got you. Doing. That's my job. Thank you for that. No, I'm friends with Joe as well. Obviously, I know, but I know. No, I, I, yeah, I can't do this. Theo Baker, a long time friend of yep. Joe Weller. Are you nervous for Joe? I've honestly, I've never been more nervous in my entire life. Wow. No matter any YouTube event, this is the most nerve wracking oh, thing. lose yourself. It's so much different when you're not taking part. He's one of, you, like, you know your childhood friends. He's going into a ring against one of the toughest opponents he's ever going to face in his life. Right. As this night's gone on, I was very excited. And then seeing Max get dropped, it makes it real. It's in like, I saw that and I'm like, okay, this is a close friend. So I was very excited to see it. So I'm, I'm so you're nervous close nowhere Max. near this fight. Yeah. Yeah. This is my video. Dude, this is Drew Geordie's video playing in the arena. We're just going to give it a second. Dude, my video is going Side is gassed. The referee gets the thumbs up. It's seconds out on YouTube between JJ, JJ Lott. and Joe Weller. Oh, JJ Lott Lott. to the trainers. It's like a and Joe to go is in. walking straight ahead. JJ landing the jab early. Right hook by JJ. Another jab by JJ. Joe not answering. Joe hasn't thrown a punch yet. Joe needs to start throwing. Joe needs to throw. Joe needs to throw a punch. And he lands again! Keeps it in his and face. he's Keeps making a fight out of it! This is a fight! JJ's on the back foot! JJ's doing a good job in it's being the, the general rhythm. of this ring right Absolutely. now. He is owning where the fight takes place at arm's length. George Wobbly. <laughs> JJ is People fighting don't quite he's easy doing so very, far. Yeah. Jo JJ's doing very well. Joe's coming out of the rest of the This is from Joe. JJ avoided that. And now, Joe lands the left. The and he's roughing him up. Right and he's hitting him on. Oh my God. The smiles from both of the lads. Oh, and it's a big left from Joe. Joe just laughing. JJ trying. Oh, and it's a big uppercut from JJ. That was a massive uppercut. And that was a brilliant uppercut. JJ. JJ hurt him with that one. Yeah. There is blood at the lip of Joe. And now JJ is making... Uh, oh, JJ has really hurt Joe. He's struggling, Joe. He needs to answer with punches. Oh, just taking punches to the face. Joe going in Joe not, Joe not doing the Mike Tyson game plan the way he said he was going to. He is struggling. So JJ is landed. marching forward and 
He's a, JJ looks brilliant right now. I've got to give credit where it's due. JJ looks fantastic Landing here. He punches. is beating Joe at his own game. I never knew what to make of him, do you know, because he's got this persona on YouTube as this over the top self confident bit of an arsehole at times. I can be a bit of an arsehole at times as well. It's fun being an arsehole and I get that and I, and I understand why he does that. So he, he never fully knows why people are being his friend or why people are getting close to him. And I feel like he has his circle. He keeps it small and he's been very sensible in doing that. I don't ever fully get past that with JJ the way I do with Joe. It's hard to watch, I've got to be honest, as a Joe friend. And that is a hell of a right hook by JJ. Joe is struggling, he's bloodied. He needs to get back to that there, ne there needs to be more punches thrown, Lawrence. Yeah, there There's does. not enough of an offence. Joe, when he did throw, was landing. That mouth is bloody. Joe needs some service. I have to say, I have to be honest, yeah. That was a fantastic first round for JJ. He did everything he said he was going to do. He kept the distance, he landed the jab, he was landing at will at times. Joe, when he did throw, landed, however, could have done a lot more offensively. How did that make you feel? Gotta be honest, mate, it was hard. I love Joe, but you have to respect JJ. Everything he said in that first round was kind of true. Yes. So for me to fight Joe is like easy. Okay, I can take this. I'm a fighter. I'm going to box him. I'm going to unbox him yeah. to death. He needs to go for it, Joe. He needs to really make something count if he's to get the respect of JJ. And he's trying. But will he JJ lands a hard right hand. And now JJ lands again. Joe is struggling. And that is a brilliant right hook by JJ. They're right over us on this side of the on ring. On the ropes, yeah. Tying up. Both men broad. Sweating. And you can tell the pace is, the pace they are setting is phenomenal for non-professionals. Joe is not saying die though, he's coming at JJ and he's fighting him on the road. He's leaving himself oh, Joe's struggling hands. and that was a... Wow, taking serious headshots there. That cannot be allowed to carry on. The two of them taken down. That was a, that was a little bit of wrestling. Though. A sour note to finish on there. How did that one make you feel? A little different there for Joe. He I think Joe, Joe's done incredibly well yeah. to hang in because JJ, I've got to give credit, is almost as good as he said he was. Yeah. He is looking fantastic. Yeah. We're it's going to see them fight again. J JJ. Good overcut by JJ. Joe. Joe answers with the left hook. The jab of JJ is a nightmare to deal with. Look at JJ, just feeling his opponent out. He JJ knows where he's so got good. him. Oh, that is unbelievable from JJ. Big combination. And Joe is taking it. Standing count for Joe Weller here. JJ doing fantastically well. Joe Weller will be hearing JJ's coach over his shoulder, shouting to JJ, calm down. Like this whole situation as a whole has been probably the thing that I needed at this point in my life because with that like regimented lifestyle having to face whatever challenge it is that day and having to because if not i'm gonna lose uh -huh. it's been it's been the best thing that's happened to me in a long time joe's struggling a lot here but soldiering on like an absolute warrior you've got to give him credit jay is reveling in it pounding his chest landing headshot after headshot after headshot this is the killer instinct that he was talking about and it's all over we have to end it soon. This has to be over. I would rather say this end. Joe is not throwing at this point. This is not. We have to end this now. JJ is doing what he said he was going to do. And as a friend of Joe, I'd rather this end that. All the girls probably liked him. I don't think I was ever that guy. Do you know what I mean? So I think that's Joe. And I think I'm probably softer natured than Joe. But we have a lot in common. And I think that's what I, why I click with him. I think me and Joe are overthinkers, the pair of us. He's an obsessive, I'm an obsessive. He's the child of a single mother, so am I. He is uh, a cheeky lad, always taking the piss. He cares too much about what he does sometimes. And I totally, uh, I've always got that. This surely is the end of the fight. JJ has got so much power. It's waved off. Oh, that is not. 
the side men rush in. Joe away from all of Joe's that. team surround him. Can we just keep Joe away from that? Joe is looking away from this, but there are huge scenes as the side men J raise J JJ is up lifted onto his on the shoulders. Arms. He's won the fight. He celebrates. Everything he said was going yeah, to happen. Happen. Come on. You've got to say. That Outside was an amazing ring, performance by JJ. Victorious. Let's keep it real. He's looking keep all his friends real. in the eye. It is incredible scenes here. In the, the camaraderie practice. between the side men and JJ is there for everyone to see. There's some real. They're so happy for him. As a friend of these two and as a fan of these two, I'd love to see a handshake yeah, absolutely. after this. I'd love that. Both of them have been great sportsmen in this one. Joe and JJ seem to be going towards each other. What is, what's happening There we there? go. There's a hug from There's the lads. Hug, That's yeah. the best bit, guys. They're now embracing. That's what we want to see at There's the end the of a great fight. JJ raises his hand. He might want to call someone out. I think I might have to get into the ring get, after this. Go get it. Him. True Geordie heads towards the ring, and you can see Ladies everyone and gentlemen, wants to be on camera here. We have a ringside, one of the greatest heavyweight legends of the contest. Your winner, by way of TKO, from Watford, let's hear it for the Nightmare Kelly Ellisai. Yo, I'm a robot. Joe, you're way harder, you're way tougher than I thought. And Fair play, bro. Respect for it. Respect for you getting in the ring. If any YouTuber wants it, you can come get it. Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, any of the Pauls, I don't care. Bring it. Say it. Yo, if any celebrity wants it, yo, where's Rio? Where's Rio Ferdinand? If Rio wants it, I know you're doing your pet fair thing. If you want, if you want some, bro, I'm ready. Yo. You have a lot of people here right now who love you. I'm one of them. What do you want to say to all your fans out there who've come here to support you? I just want to say I respect every single one of you. The support you show, the loyalty, it's honestly, it blows my mind. I know I'm never 100, well, not always 100%, but the fact that you guys are there from, from the viewers to my friends to my family, every single one of you are loyal and you support, and it's just... Honestly, it's incredible, and I, I just want to say a thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your fighters, KSI, Joe Weller. Well done, lads. Two incredible contenders there. I'm disappointed with my commentary looking back on it because when Joe did land, I got more overexcited, not because I wanted him to hurt JJ, I was terrified that JJ would pulverise Joe. So I think when Joe did swing, I was just relieved in Joe's not getting his head kicked in here. And that comes across because it's like, oh, thank God. You know, like, and, and, and it shouldn't have been like that. One thing I did realise after the fact was that JJ had the best night of his life. But emotionally, you can hear I'm a bit gutted that my friend's had his head kicked in. So he doesn't get the, the soundtrack he deserved. I wish I'd built up that win more and, and let go of, of what I was feeling about Joe. But it's fucking hard when you know people so well. Anyone on YouTube, all, all YouTubers um, have a preference between these two. They all know them pretty much. So anyone who did this job is going to be in that position. And I'll tell you what, it's a lot more beneficial to lick KSI's off than it is Joe's off. So I wasn't doing it for fucking gain or anything like that. I was doing it because he's my actual mate. I am disappointed in myself. I think I could have been more professional. I wish I had been more professional. But I'm just a fucking human being.